Hey guys! I hope you're all doing great. For today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add animated aesthetic text for your clips and your transitions if you're using iMovie. I will be using my MacBook Air and my iPhone for this tutorial, so if you're interested, keep on watching! I'm gonna be showing you three options that you can choose from in order to make this aesthetic text on your clips. The apps that I'll be using are all free, and you will learn how to do animated text like this for your transitions. Keynote would be your first option. You can use it by itself, and it can pretty much do everything. Your next option would be Keynote plus Fonto. And for your last option, you can use Fonto plus Video Star. You can use option 1, 2, or 3, or you can use them all if you want. So we're gonna start with Keynote. This is my favorite, favorite app. First, I'm gonna show you how you can download aesthetic fonts to your Keynote. Go to thefont.com and then search your aesthetic font. Download it, go to downloads and compress the file. Search for the compressed file and copy it. Click the word go on the top left, click go to folder, and type slash library slash fonts. Click go. Then go ahead and paste your compressed file here. Open your Keynote and click New Document. Click Create and then delete everything that's in the blank document. Now add text and let's just type Aesthetic for example. And here under Format, you have Style and you have all these colors and fillings and borders or shadows. But I don't use them so I go straight to Text. Here you can change the font to the one you just downloaded. And then change the size to whatever you like. To have this cute thing, you just have to type open and close curly brackets. You can have a bold, italic, or underline. Click the color wheel to change its color and then change it to whichever you like. If you click on this wheel, we have advanced options and then you can change the spacing. I usually go straight to outline. And then you can change the size of the outline. I'll show you different kinds of outlines here, but I usually go to the basic one. I use thinner outlines because they look more aesthetic. And then for shadows, I put 4 here. And then I'll show you how to blur the shadow, but I usually put 5 here. You can also play with its angle. I almost forgot to tell you that you can also choose the color for your outline or for your shadow. I don't usually mess with this layout and I only use a range if I need like a background photo. It's time for the most exciting part and we have the animation. Under build in, you can choose a lot of effects. I'm gonna show you some like fly in. Now let's change it into keyboard which is one of my favorites. This is like a typewriter effect and I heard that its previous name is really typewriter. They changed it into keyboard. I'll show you more. We have Skid and we have Advil. You can also play with its duration and I think it's awesome. Now we're going to put some action. Let's add an effect and choose move and just drag the line to wherever you want it to go. And you can add more actions if you want. And then click build order and put each action in the order that you like. Finally, you can click the preview to see the animation. If you go to arrange, you can also flip or rotate your text. I don't usually do this, but I'm just gonna show you. Finally, you can click out of the text box go to document and format. Under the background, click no fill. So you can put the text without the background or as PNG and put it over your clips. Now export this as movie, make sure it's self-playing, and do the same format as this. Now save it to your desktop so it's easier to import to your iMovie. Now you can go to your iMovie and import the clip that you want to use. And then import the text from your keynote, drag it over to the end of the clip, and you now have your animated aesthetic text. You can also go to picture in picture if you want to change its size and location. I usually use zoom for this and I change this to 0.3 and this is how it will look like. 
I'm just gonna put it back to cut away because I like it bigger. Next, I'll be showing you how to use Keynote and Fonto. To do this, go to Fonto, add plain images, click this and we're gonna change its color. Go to Alpha and drag it all the way down so you have this PNG background and use this. Click the image and add your text. For the text, we're just gonna type animation for example and then go to fonts. Here you have the downloaded fonts, the built-in fonts, and the starred or your favorite fonts. Go to thefont.com, search for an aesthetic text, and download it. Go to downloads, look for the file, hold and share to Fonto. Install it, go back to Fonto, and you have the new font. So now we can use the new font. Put your text at the center and choose style. Here you can change the color of your text but I want it white so I'll go ahead and go to stroke. You can start playing with alpha and width. I usually put this amount of outline to my texts because I think they look aesthetic. Next you can go to style and you can play with the shadow and spacing here. I like a little shadow for my text and I would usually put X to 10 and Y to 8. Next, you can go to space and I like putting a little space on my text. And then click done. And lastly, you can go to curve. After you curve your text, you can now save it as PNG. Airdrop it to your computer and then open your keynote. We are opening a new document again. We're just going to do what we did earlier, create a new document and then delete all these. Click format and then go to background and click no fill. Go to media and choose the file that we made from Fonto. If you're wondering why we needed Fonto for this, well unfortunately we can't curve a text using Keynote. Now let's go to animation and you know all these from before, I'm just showing you how we can add an effect to a now PNG. This is not considered a text but an image, but you can pretty much do the same effects to your texts and to your images. Now I'm just showing you more effects to choose from. We can go to action and you have learned this earlier as well. Now we can export it as movie and save it to your desktop. Go ahead and open your iMovie, put your clip and the animated file from Keynote. And now you have a curved animated aesthetic text on your clip. The last option is Fonto plus Vito Star. This one is perfect for your transitions. Open your Fonto and click Photo Album. Use the image that you want to use as your background. Type your text and let's just do what we did earlier when we first used Fonto. Under style, you can check your saved edits like this and don't forget to put some outline under stroke. Curve your text and save it as PNG. Now open your iMovie and use the saved PNG as a clip. Now you will have about 7 seconds of clip here. If you don't do this, you're not going to be able to edit it using the next app that we'll be using. You can save it now and open your video star. Choose the clip that we made from iMovie, then click make video. Click new and then re effect. Click the plus button and click the magnifying glass to choose your effects. 
You can control the effects by clicking this and put your desired action. Now click this down arrow button on the right and do the quick fix. Click edit and then share your video clip or airdrop it to your computer. Now you're ready to use this on your iMovie as your transition. I'm gonna link all the free apps that I've used down below so you can all download them. I hope you learned a thing or two from this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.